They did it again. Uh, the Eagles, every year, manage to come in here and just absolutely get your hopes up and rip your heart out when it counts. I mean, the, the, the game today was a joke. The coaching was shit. The playing was a joke. If your name wasn't Michael Vick, you didn't show up to play this game. Let's get to why they lost the game. First of all, no in-game adjustments. Um, you know, I, I said from the outset last week there was a reason I picked the Packers to win, and it had to do with the fact that their defense was going to kill the Eagles' offensive line uh, because the Eagles weren't going to run the ball. The Eagles didn't run the ball. Um, I said the Packers' passing offense was going to tear apart the Eagles' secondary. Did a pretty good damn job. Um, Eagles didn't have balance, and no, I'm not talking about donuts, Andy Reid. <laughs> Um, Jackson absolutely did not show up for this game. I know you strained your knee in the first quarter, but you want to get paid like a number one receiver, it's the playoffs. You got to be on that field. You got to suck it up, and you got to be on that field. And he couldn't do it. You know, and if he, wa if he wants to do that, fine, but we'll let him leave it after free agency because Deshaun Jackson has not showed up in the clutch. I know he had that return against the Giants, but that is the only moment of his career where he has shown up in a big game when it matters. Except that touchdown against the Cardinals in the NFC title game. Other than that, he was horrible in that game. He's been horrible in all the clutch games against the Cowboys last year. It didn't matter. He was horrible. My biggest thing with this game is the first thing that you just said. Reed, no in-game adjustments. McDermott. Sean McDermott, McDermott, if he's not fired, I'm, I'm not watching the NFL next year. People who know me and people who go to school with me and people who know me on a personal level and know how I feel about the Eagles coaching staff, no, I don't to feel too fondly about it. And this game proved that I and a lot of the true Eagles fans are right because our coaching staff sucks. Reed, they were doing the same blitz every time. The guy coming in off the edge off the slot, Charles Woods, and sometimes it was Clay Matthews, they would throw a bunch of guys out there, and no matter what the Eagles did, there was always that one guy left untouched coming off the outside. Put LaShawn McCoy on the edge. And Antoine Winfield did the exact same thing three weeks ago, and you're telling me you're one of the highest paid coaches in the NFL, and you can't sit on a film room, watch the film, and change the play. The I don't get it. The exact play you're talking about was the first play of scrimmage of the game, they did that the whole game, and you're exactly right. No adjust. It's like once you get no game plan, it does, if first play is bad, the game's going to be ugly. You look at it this way: your Steelers, you, you guys, you do that a lot with the with quarterbacks who can move. You put guy, you put guy on the edge. You pack four or five guys in the middle, put some pressure on the offensive line, and make them pick up the guy off the edge. Uh, basically, and basically force him to step up. Exactly. And, and the Steelers had it happen. Nothing. The Steelers had a horrible offensive line last year. You know what they did? They went into the draft and they fixed it. Instead of going for defensive end, which was an unnecessary pick, they went in and they drafted Marquise Pouncey, who the Eagles should have taken last year, to fix that offensive line, and it's worked. Roethlisberger isn't getting sacked nearly as much anymore. But you know what? We, we have Michael Vick, and he's just going to run and save our team the rest of the, his career until he gets his head knocked off because stupid-ass Jason Peters, I want that man gone. He's a joke. He's a disgrace to this team, to this franchise. He sucks. Your Falcons, I don't watch the Falcons a ton. But anyone with common sense knows that they know how to run the ball, eh? They don't know how to win the ball late in the game, or win the game late, and they know how to come back and make adjustments. I think they're gonna. I think they'll beat the Packers. I think they're. They got a whole lot of. Well, if they watch the scheme of this game and the yeah, Packers do the same thing, there's no reason they shouldn't beat them because the Packers didn't show me anything. But in then this again, game. there was no reason the Eagles shouldn't have won that game. No, no reason. Absolutely. And, and, and people and, want to say you can't miss those field goals. Yeah, I mean David you, Akers. I'm sorry. Pro Bowl kicker. A Pro Bowl kicker. A 34 yard field goal. You cannot. Hit. A 41 yard right. field goal. You should hit. I mean, come on. You've had two games in your career in the clutch. Three games, I can remember. The 4 Super Bowl, you didn't show up at all. No one did, except Terrell Owens. Well, I'm starting to think maybe we should have kept him. The NFC Championship game, I don't know which one it was. It was against the Cardinals. David Akers missed, I think, two field goals and an extra point. That's unacceptable. This game, he misses a 41-yard field goal. You know what? 
31. People, no, there were two. There, there were two. two. 31, I mean, 34, 41, and 41. 41, I guess you can miss. 34, I mean, I, I had already changed the scoreboard, I had moved on. I'm thinking, what can we do on defense the next series? You missed the field goal. You know, it, it's your job as a kicker to be out there before the game, testing the wind, seeing where you're going to hit from. This is what happens if you hit that 34-yard field goal at that point in the game. You're only down by three. And had you hit the 41-yarder earlier? Had you hit the 41-yarder? It's up. a tie game. No, no, it's 22-21. No, you're up That's right. Two. You're right. You're right. Because they went for two and then they missed. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they missed. They would have gone for. Out. They would have just kicked the extra no, yeah, point rather than going for two. I mean, who knows? He might have missed that one too. Yeah. I mean, the the thing. Another thing. That rule where you. I'm not going to complain because it's the rule. But that rule where you step out of bounds and then come back in. I mean, come on. He took his foot fell out of the back of the end zone for a second. Did that change the play? It's not like he ran around the outside, came back, and, you know, that's how he got open. They make it sound like he ran out of the stadium, and went and got a the Starbucks fire. coffee, and then came back in, and nobody, and nobody realized it. And it, uh, he stepped like two inches out of bounds. Big freaking deal. You know, there's going to be extensions given out for this team. They belong going to Michael Vick and Jeremy Macklin. Not to Sean Jackson. I don't think LaShawn McCoy, because neither of them showed me enough today to show that they're going to be I don't know how Super much Bowl. you can put against LaShawn, LaShawn McCoy, because how many chances did he really get? I was exactly, that's exactly but right. But he blocked. Uh, exactly I mean, he, block, he blocked. It, look, look at his size. How much can he block? I mean, yeah. he has 200 I mean, plus that, that, guys. Deshaun Jackson, I'm sorry. you. Whenever you face a legit corner in this league, you've gone, you disappeared. Does Roddy White do that? No, not really. He was probably the best receiver in the game this year. I would agree with that. Um, you look at you look at LeSean McCoy. You look at the chances that he was given by his offensive line and by his coach. They were not very good. I mean, they didn't they didn't give him any chances. They only gave him a few attempts, and the offensive line just is, is a joke in general. But we've you said know, that they, they need to correct already. the offensive line. They need to sign Namdi Osamoa because they need another corner. It's amazing to me this team got as far as they did because that defense, quite frankly, sucks. They need a new coordinator. They need to switch to the three four defense. It's a mess, and they got a lot to work on this year. And quite frankly, they better start right this second. Not to mention, you can't. I mean, as we all know, how terrible Reed is with his time management. Yeah. Well, that I mean, came I, into play again. And no, it, it really didn't even come into play because, you know, people. I, I want to get one thing out there though. People are gonna say the Eagles choked. I'm sorry, but the Eagles did not choke. They just didn't have the personnel to win this game. The coaches may have choked, but the team out there that didn't choke. Under pressure, Vic showed me something. Under pressure. He, he showed me he can lead a drive. Yeah. That last throw, yeah, you could say what you want about that last throw. He didn't have a choice. The, the whole he game, to, he had to go to no the one got open for Vic. It was the same when Cobb was playing quarterback that first game against the Packers. You got 17 weeks to learn something, and you can't even do that. Cobb had the exact same treatment where no one got open for him that whole game. Vic had the exact same thing today. And when you I don't, don't know what to say. When you don't... Have a running game or a defense. Uh, all right, what's gonna happen? You're gonna lose the game. You're going to lose right. the game. Right, that's and it's I'm game. Sam. He's AC. Screw Andy Reid. Screw Jeffrey Lurie. Get an offensive line.